What's up everybody, it's Eva with Trout's Fly Fishing. Here's my main man, Ezekiel Hirsch. Yeah. That's him. So, we're here for five flies for the month of December. It's winter time, it's cold, it's snowy. It is what it is. Fish still eat in the, the winter time. They definitely do. Is it congregating the, the slow stuff? So, uh, winter time is about, like when finding success is about finding the right day, so the right conditions finding the right water. So today we're uh, fishing the Arkansas. It was snowing everywhere else. I thought it was gonna be raining here. Zeke was said it was gonna be uh, perfectly sunny and Zeke was, so it turns out Zeke was right. So been here before. <laughs> Don't wanna brag, he's been here before. But yeah, so finding the right day, the right place, and then finding the fish. So uh, working slow water, slow moving water, deeper water, uh, where the fish are gonna congregate. Um, so most mostly about getting the fly down to the right depth in front of their face, and generally uh, you should find success. So uh, yeah, gonna be smaller bugs, mid-season, bluing olives are gonna be here and there, but uh, attractors will play a big role, um, and you can still throw streamers and throw dry flies if conditions are right. So let's get to the flies. Zeke's gonna take it away. Let's talk. Fries! Fly number one, we had a size 18 red copper john uh, great attractor pattern looks like a lot of different uh, insects and larvae in the water um, great in the winter time a little bit heavier gets down quick um, and has that little bit of different color um, that i believe trout love to eat red for some reason or another they just are attracted to that color i like red too red is a good color. Yeah. there it is fly number one Fly number two, uh, number 18, black zebra midge. Another great attractor pattern, larva looking. Um, can't say enough about this fly in all different sizes in the wintertime, even very large. Uh, but today we are using that size 18. Uh, fish like to eat it. Yeah, sometimes on the tailwaters and the free stones, you see a lot of small midges, but then you'll see big whoppers of midges as well. Yeah, so like an 18, 18 can be, uh, Super productive on tailwaters and freeze and the like. Yeah. I'm just here for emotional support, but I wanted to add a little uh, factoid in there. Yeah. Bingo. Bingo. Fly number three is the white hoolie bugger. On the white. Wood. An old classic. Old 
Old classic. Old reliable. Little cone head on that bad boy. A little cone head. Swim that down deep. Um, make it look like a crippled bait fish. Good in the winter time. Fishing a little bit slower, a little bit deeper. Um, and looks like that crippled bait fish or sculpting. Yeah. And it's the key to that fly is it's not olive. <laughs> Yvonne does not like right. olive. That's the key to that fly. If it was olive, it wouldn't catch fish. <laughs> exactly right. Yeah. Especially in the winter time. Yeah, yeah. I like throwing like a full sink when I'm throwing streamers in the in the winter time. Get that fly crawling along the bottom. Feel the bottom, and usually you'll find fish. If you if you find fish, you'll find fish. You know what I mean? You got it. <laughs> Fly number four is a uh, number 22 high vis Griffiths gnat. If you're fishing dry flies in the wintertime, which you're gonna run into a good midge hatch, um, this is a great one to see that small little midge because most most of your hatches are gonna be midge hatches in the wintertime. Um, super good for visibility. Uh, fish like to eat it. Um, we had a, actually one one little chance for a fish today, uh, and they ate that Griffiths gnat Griffiths gnat on the dry fly. Yeah. So I duffed it though. He duffed it. But, you know, he hadn't been fishing all day. So. I threw a couple casts and I duffed it. It happens though, to the best of us and the worst of us. I'm not a guide though. So. <laughs> fly number five is the number 18 uh, otters soft milky egg. Milking eggs, Milking but that's egg. you know minor details. It catches fish, so that's good. Catches fish. Fish think it's a gummy bear. They like to chew on it. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's a good fly. Uh, I do like like those otters' eggs. Um, for some reason or another, with that soft body material or soft egg material, uh, fish just really like to eat that. It's got egg. that like like milky eggy. And it's got that like egg that, veil like, on there. Is it yeah, I don't know yeah, what that it's is. little eggs, egg veil. Uh, it looks really good in the water. Uh, definitely a good tailwater um, egg pattern, being small and whatnot. Uh, definitely had very good success on it over the years on the, you know, upper South Platte, Dream Stream, stuff like that, on uh, the blue as well. Um, so great pattern for those tailwaters. Yeah, for sure. All right, that wraps up Five Flies for December 2019. It's coming to a close. Happy holidays, everybody. Certainly hope you're enjoying uh, this month with your family and friends. We appreciate you guys watching, tuning in over the course of the year. Um, I know that uh, you know, having Zeke on, having a lot of the guys from the shop, we all really enjoy bringing the flies to you guys uh, every month uh, and certainly hope that you guys are finding some value in it. So I appreciate you guys tuning in. Come see us in the shop, whether it be up in Frisco, Main Street, or on uh, 6th Ave in Denver. Uh, certainly appreciate you guys. I've said that quite a bit because I mean it, but yeah. Zeke, what do we do? We we appreciate We appreciate y'all. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Thanks Go. for tuning in. Go winter fishing. Yeah. Get out there. Bye now. Bye now.